What's up, math fans? Hopefully you're already comfortable with circles. You've already seen my videos on central angles and inscribed angles. So now we're gonna move on to angles formed by two intersecting chords. And the two intersecting lines is the same wherever you go, just depends where you see them. So a uh, brief review of the stuff you already know from the other videos. This is a circle and you name a circle with the letter. One letter is enough. The center point is usually O, O looks like a circle. It reminds you, okay, the center is a circle. Um, <clears throat> it's the center of a circle. So this is circle O and the pink line is a radius. The radius goes from the center to a point on the circle itself or the circumference of the circle. So you got your radius. Diameter is the line that goes through the center all the way across. And now we got a chord. A chord is a line segment that goes from one point on the diameter of a circle to another point on the circle, not necessarily going through the center. Technically, it could go through the center, but it doesn't have to. Any line segment in a circle is a chord. If it goes through the center, it's a special chord. We call it a diameter. It's still a chord, but it's a special chord, so we call it a diameter. All right? Um, now, here's circle O, here's circle O. But if you notice, I, I put O off for a reason show you that these are not diameters, these are chords, and they intersect. What happens? They form angles. Same thing here. So, um, moral of the story is, when you have a circle, and you have two chords that intersect, they form four angles, just like any other time. One, two, three, four. So, the, in order to find the measure here, it's not like a central angle. If it was a central angle, it's easy. The angle is equal to the intercepted arc. Here, the angle is equal to the sum of the intercepted arcs divided by two. So measure of angle AED, AED is basically this angle X, is equal to the sum of arc AD and arc CB. So this angle, which is formed by AED, is equal to this plus this divided by two, okay? Um, notice that this angle and this angle are the same because no matter where you see the X, you have vertical angles. Vertical angles are equivalent to each other. So this angle is also equal to the sum of this arc plus this arc divided by two. So instead of a pizza slice, you have two pizza slices or even a butterfly if you see it sideways. All right, so look for the butterfly and you have your formula. Formula is to add and divide by two. You know what happens when you add two things and divide by two? That's kind of like finding the average. So basically the angle is equal to the average of the intercepted arcs. So take a look here. I got a circle, this arc is 100, this arc is 80, and I'm gonna ask you for a simple question. What is the measure of this angle here? It's not 100, it's not 80. It's the average of 180. So 180, not 180. Um, so we're gonna use a simple formula here. Oh no, he didn't label the arcs, so what do I do? The letters don't matter. This could be A, B, C, D, this could be X, Y, Z, N, it could be anything. So I'm just looking at the butterfly. I got my two intercepted arcs. That's gonna be 100 plus 80 divided by two. That's 180 uh, divided by two. Oh, look at that, 180 turns out to be 180, uh, which is what, 90. So this, clearly not drawn to scale, is equal to 90 degrees, which makes this opposite angle also 90 degrees, okay? Um, once you figure out one of the angles, you can find anything you wanna know. You can find the opposite angle, you can even find this guy, which is what? Well, if this makes a straight line, then this is 90, then this is also 90, uh, and then obviously that would also be 90. So, um, I know it looks a little bit off, but they, all, they happen to all be right angles, okay? Um, Let's go over here, much more difficult question. So, I gave you one of the angle, uh, one of the arcs, 50, 50 degrees, this arc is 50 degrees, and then I gave you that angle is 75, I hope you can see that, it's 75. And I'm gonna put two x plus one over here, you gotta figure out what is x, we're gonna solve for x here. So, hmm, just think about this for a second. If this is 50, what should this be? in order to get 75 in the middle. Hmm, I have no idea, but I do know the formula. This arc plus this arc divided by two is equal to 75. So I'm gonna do some fancy algebra. 50 plus two x plus one divided by two, that's this arc plus this arc divided by two is gonna 
should give me 75. 75. Okay, so now I'm gonna clear up some space. Uh, you should be able to use your algebra skills to solve for x. What do you do? I'm gonna multiply by 2 on both sides to cancel out the 2's. Some people would put the 75 over 1 and cross multiply. Same thing. Either way, you're doing 75 times 2, and I get, what, 150. 50 plus 2x plus 1 drops down. Equals 150 drops down. 50 plus 1 is 51, plus 2x equals 150. Subtract 51, subtract 51. What do you got? 2x equals 99. Divide by 2, divide by 2. And x equals 49.5. Oh no, a decimal, it must be wrong. It's fine, it's good. You get decimals all the time. A lot of times we'll, they'll say to round, but in this case, I'm not scared. I like 0.5, that's fine with me. You carry change in your pocket, that means you're not scared of decimals. All right, thanks for watching, see ya.